Hello everyone, my name is Nick Hogan. I'm an analyst here at the Right Way Sports Network. Just wanted to make a quick little film breakdown because I believe we have a really good college football running back prospect who's going a little bit unnoticed. If you don't know who this running back is in this photo, it's Tyler Algier. He's a sophomore running back out of BYU, and he's been absolutely fantastic this year. He was last year as well with Zach Wilson, but we all know against a pretty easy schedule that got overlooked. But we're really going to break down what makes him a great football player in this video. The first thing you need to know about Tyler Algier is that he is a hustler. The former walk-on really displays that walk-on mentality every single time he plays the game of football. And this play I'm about to show you really just illustrates what I mean by that. I'm sure a lot of you had the opportunity to see this. It was all over ESPN because it really is just a fantastic play in it and a play that I haven't seen happen in a football game from all my time of watching football. And I'm not sure if I'll ever see it again, but it really is just an epic display of hustle. So before we talk about Algier's running ability, we got to talk about the mentality he has upstairs. So we can see Jaron Hall right here gets out of the pocket, tries to make something out of nothing, throws an ugly interception, looks like all is lost for the Cougars. Algier sprinting down, finally catches up in WWE. Superman punches out the ball and BYU recovers. Look at this hustle. This doesn't happen every day, folks, and running backs like Tyler Algier don't come around every day. So let's talk about that. The last opportunity we had to watch Algier play came this past weekend as BYU traveled to Logan to play Utah State, and Algier really made this game a track race. He rushed for 218 yards and three touchdowns in the match, and as we can see right here, he really just sped up the sideline multiple times during this game really using juke moves, stiff arms, spins, whatever he could to outrun Utah State defenders. But this play, in my opinion, was the most impressive play of the night for Algier because he stumbles and moments later is able to hit a full stride almost instantly. As we see right here, Algier fall, is falling down. And by no means is Justin Rice a scrub. He's been a great leader, an absolutely great linebacker for Utah State. He has a chance to make a tackle on Algier, but Algier just bursts out of the stumble into full stride. Not a lot of college backs can do that. That is NFL speed. That is a guy who might run a 4-4 at the Combine this upcoming spring. And that's the first thing we have to notice with Algier. The next thing we have to address is the context of this play. BYU's normal starter, Jaron Hall, missed this game due to injury, and their backup quarterback, Baylor Romney, was unable to return for the second half of this game due to injury. So that left BYU with Jacob Conover, who is a freshman, third stringer, trying to play quarterback in a big game. It wasn't going very well. Utah State knew BYU virtually had to run the ball in every opportunity possible, and so they have eight guys on the line of scrimmage for this play. They know Algier is going to get the ball. They know what play is coming. Algier even stumbles, yet somehow he still runs by everybody. It's one thing to make this play and have the speed to go by these guys. It's another thing when they knew it was coming. That's NFL speed at its best. I know we've talked a lot about Algier's speed, but I just want you guys to see a few plays back to back to back to really illustrate just how fast he is because he is outrunning what should be quicker defenders that being defensive backs as you can see right here against Texas State he goes up the middle and splits two defenders simply by just running right by them there was no move needed this run only took one cut before he beat the entire Boise State defense he burst up the middle Let's watch it again in the replay where Algier really just makes one move and beats everybody through his speed. Great block on the play, I know, but his speed is what separates him from other prospects, but there are a lot of other great qualities to his game. Another great aspect of Algier's game is that he has great vision and really sees the field super well and is able to make really good cuts based off of his vision. So we're going to look back at 2020's game against Navy and look at this cut that Algier is about to make. Obviously there's a lot of open grass on the field, but he knows not to go to the crowded inside, makes a cut based off of that before he jukes outside once again to open up a huge play. 
So instead of getting a 10-yard play like most running backs would, continuing up the middle, he knows when it's the time to bounce it outside and make a big play. Let's look at it from a different angle right here. He could easily think that he should just split the defenders and end up in a swarm of tacklers 10 yards down the field. Instead, he bounces it out and finds his way to the pylon to score BYU's six more points. Let's look at this play. This is a beautiful L cut by Algier. See him plant his right foot and watch his defender from Houston on the outside really lose his footing as Algier shifts direction so quickly because he sees open grass on the inside. So he can bounce it inside or outside. Taking a look at this play against Western Kentucky, we have fullback Mason Wake pulling to the right side of BYU's offensive line. Algier takes the handoff and he has the patience to really follow Wake hesitate and then make a play he's got speed he's got patience he's got vision he has the moves necessary to be a running back at the next level but the one thing we haven't mentioned that we need to is that he didn't even come to BYU as a running back he was a walk-on linebacker in 2019 before transitioning to running back in 2020 where he had a huge breakout season rushing for over a thousand yards 13 touchdowns and seven and a half yards per carry. Truly something a BYU backfield hasn't seen since Jamal Williams. Wow, what impressive numbers for any college running back, let alone somebody who was playing linebacker two years ago. That has continued into 2021 where he's already rushed for 569 yards and seven touchdowns through five games. That's over 100 yards per game as Algier has really kept everything rolling from his first year playing running back at BYU. Somehow, colleges missed out and he flew out under the radar because he did lead his high school football team, Kaiser High School in Southern California, in rushing yards. He is, he's the career rushing yards leader at Kaiser High School. And somehow, he wasn't heavily recruited, ends up at BYU as a walk-on, and he has turned into an absolute monster. Teams need to take notice in the league about Tyler Algier. He should be flying up draft boards, not saying he should be the first running back off the board, but he definitely deserves more notice for those reasons we've mentioned today. For somebody who's just begun competing at an elite level of competition at the running back position, we don't know how good Algier could actually be. He could hit a potential that isn't even visible at this point in time. NFL general managers, scouts, and other players have to take that into consideration when evaluating Tyler Algier. With that in consideration combined with the attributes he has showed on the field thus far, he should be a very sought after prospect as we approach the NFL draft this spring. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Once again, my name is Nick Hogan. Please feel free to follow us on social media or like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more of our amazing content that is coming out daily, weekly. We're producing great content all the time. We'd love to have you take a look at it.